one of the major obstacle of growth of in nuclear energy is that how to handle the nuclear waste. We don't want to have uh, a huge quantity of uh, long-lived radioisotopes uh, locked up somewhere, whether it's in Yucca Mountain or underground or anywhere. Accelerators uh, provide a means of incineration, nuclear incineration of the waste. And some of the long-lived isotopes, they can be incinerated in, um, or transmuted. And then the problem of nuclear energy, the major problem of nuclear energy regarding waste can be sorted out. If nuclear energy will grow very fast, then ADS is a good possibility, a contributor to solve some of the problems of, of the nuclear fuel cycle. What Fermilab can do, of course, is to contribute to research and technology development for the accelerator. The accelerator is one important component of the ADS. Uh, it has to be a collaborative project between Fermilab and and other laboratories in the U.S. Uh, that do um, uh, reactor development. Accelerator technology has advanced to the level where 10 milliamp, you know, 10 megawatt is not a big deal. People are talking about 100 megawatt accelerators. We have got a new technology uh, called superconducting RF technology, which is used in Project X, ILC, uh, the Spallation Neutron Source, and Jefferson Lab, and so on. So that makes it's easier to build highly intense uh, accelerators. We will take that waste and use as energy, fuel, using this technique. And the only thing stopping this from actually being realized is the accelerator doesn't exist yet. I'm not proposing bringing nuclear power into Fermilab site, far from it. We just demonstrated the accelerator partner with a laboratory like Argonne, uh, which has got nuclear reactor expertise, or Oak Ridge, or Baba Atomic Research Center in India. They were here uh, today in fourth. And they will do the reactor end, and then when the two are ready, you put them together in a new neutral site and make it work. Depending, of course, on, on uh, well, the rate of nuclear, nuclear power development, it will probably be necessary to help solve uh, issues related to waste and uh, also to resources, to fissile resources. In India, we, our contribution, nuclear energy contribution towards the total energy production is rather uh, small. We only produce only 3% of electricity uh, by nuclear means, but our growth rate is very high. We have to, and for it is extremely important for us for uh, sustain this growth. Because uh, we are an uh, energy-starved country. Our per capita energy production is as low as 650 kilowatt hour compared to the United States, which is about 13,000 kilowatt hour. So it's, uh, we need to grow. And this growth essentially means there are many people in, the country, in our country who don't have even access to the electricity. So the growth does not mean only the improvement in the, those who are already having electricity, but to spread to, so that more people get the access of electricity. Now this, if we do by burning carbon, then we are going to load the environment with a lot of carbon dioxide. We want to avoid that. And that is why if a part of it can be done by nuclear, then we'll be at least saving that much of it in the carbon dioxide production. And carbon dioxide production, if it's done in India, is going to affect the whole world. So our concern is that to reduce this as much as possible. So we are growing the nuclear part also faster. The U.S. is not the leader in this field. There are other countries, we have talks from uh, China, India, Japan, uh, and Europe. They are ahead of the U.S. Uh, my personal opinion is that um, given, given the, um, you know, the CO2 concerns and uh, given the fact that um, we have to face uh, Asia, an increase in, in population and, 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 and needs, uh, in power, uh, power needs. Given, given all this, I think that um, peaceful uses of nuclear energy in the US and in Europe, in, in the West, are, is essential. So my opinion is that uh, a vigorous uh, nuclear energy program in the US is essential. That's my personal opinion. <laughs> So essentially what you need is a national program to do this. And if the U.S. doesn't do it, other nations surely will. So we're in a kind of situation that we were in 1957 in the space race. We are kind of behind. We need to catch up. <laughs>